Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and today we're going to water cool a PC. Now, you can go out and spend hundreds of dollars on getting all the little fittings and the right plates and stuff, but I just went on to Amazon. I got this. main reason why I picked this one up is it was cheap. It was like $15, and it came with the fittings. And it looks like a pretty good CPU cooler for uh, $15, bucks, but... As you can see, there's a kind of a way that they, they directed the flow, and then there's cuts in here. Kind of disperses the water across it all nice and evenly. But we're going to take this, we're going to throw it on one of my old machines. And this is the only actual water cooling part that I'm going to use. The rest of it is going to be thrift store stuff and just stuff I got lying around in the shop. We'll use this old uh, fountain pump here. I got some of these lines. I threw this together and maybe we can use this as a radiator. Uh, the CPU that I'm cooling is uh, only like about 70 watts uh, TDP, so probably not going to need much. But we can experiment around with it and once we get it together we can even try different coolants in it. Uh, I was looking at using this big container as a reservoir, but that was a little too big, so we're probably going to go with this plastic container for now. And uh, let's get it all put together, and we'll put everything together, and we'll test it out, make sure it doesn't leak, and then we'll hook it up to the computer. After bench testing this assembly off camera, I noticed that the coil wasn't putting out too much flow when it was hooked up. The pump itself is pretty high flow, but it's low pressure, so I'm just going to remove the coil for now, and we'll test it that way. After making some adapters and getting everything to fit, I managed to get it to hook up to this old CPU. This is a 3rd Gen i7, uh, 3770. After getting the computer booted up and starting to put a load on the processor, uh, it took about 20-25 minutes for it to actually start getting a little warm and for me to get a little concerned about running the computer that hot. So. I want you guys to post in the comments uh, what kind of things we should use as coolant in the reservoir here, and we'll do a series of shorts on that. But we'll do some more thermal testing just on water, setting up a proper radiator for this, and just seeing if we can get this to be like a reliable little water-cooled computer. Well, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, build stuff, have fun, stay safe. And we'll dive into this uh, computer a little more in the next video.